You know, sometimes I wonder how much you guys look at like the shirts I wear because I'm pretty sure, let me double check, that the last... This was days ago! Actually, days are here! I'll put on the headband so I fit. I just wanted to verify for myself. Okay, I'm gonna start this one out by just not predicting anything because last time I very clearly cursed Ragnar. And I refuse to do the same for Canute despite already saying if anything ever happens to Canute, I'll be sad. I mean, I guess I could, I could curse characters I don't like. Ah, King Swain, he's the best. Floki, I love him. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we have History of Beasts and I'm excited to get into it because last Last time was actually a bombshell finding out that King Swain's primary target is actually Canute, having decided between the two brothers. And now I guess we're gonna have to see what Askeladd's plan is. But first, doesn't Canute have to find out about Ragnar? I think there was a person he was closest to his entire life. From the flashback we got, it seemed more that like Ragnar raised Canute of more than King Swain did, obviously. Drop a like on this one, let's get started. Nope. Oh. Where are we? He brought Ragnar's bow. Oh. Stab from behind with a spear. Now, is, does this break Canute? Does it make him stronger like, uh, like Askeladd once? He left suddenly to talk to you! I mean, there's literally no reason for Canute to, like, accuse him. He's like, yo, bro, keep it down. Yeah, no, actually. I wonder if Canute will ever find out. Going to realize what happened. Yeah, there isn't proof. I, aside from people knowing. He's weak is a good thing. That does make him easier to control. It's true. Easier to manipulate. He won't stand up for himself. I have no idea. Choose my own. So he's choosing Canute. Mm, he wants Canute to be the person that he wants to serve under. That's <laughs> quite so unhinged, bro. Might get depressed. Yeah, this could this could cripple him. Yeah, then I guess he could go with the uh, just completely abandoning him. Yeah, Asquad is a really messed up dude. I very I salute his unwillingness to be shaken. <laughs> Was it in England? In English? It took one alive? He's a Christian. Well, I guess most of the English are. Oh, how sweet of you, Ascalad! Lord sees everything. More of these are religious themes. Yeah, Ascalad is number one on the list to go to hell. I'm not gonna lie. I am not gonna lie. It's not looking good. Shears? For what? Who's the captain? He will not let you live. I guarantee it. Oh, dog. No, I can't watch. Oh, dog. I... Oh. Oh. oh, hell no. It's not bigger now. Lord Jesus cutting him off. Oh, the sound! That's going, please! Even Bjorn thinks it's nasty. This beast of a man. How do you hold out? How? 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 I would have cracked at the sight of Askeladd. Just the sheer aura. Oh, so he's from this village? Teach you some history? Saxon, Anglo. Ah. He said pot cow on the kettle black. So the Celts, then the Romans. So he's bringing up the Anglo and the Saxons because they were here before. So he's just doing what they did. He doesn't believe the history lesson. Dude, I can't. Please don't do more. Please. Please, let's go ahead. No! No! Oh my god, it stopped! Oh, it stopped! They're here. They're close. Oh my gosh, you started cutting into it. I was gonna throw up. Is it Thorkel? Wait, you Danes! Is it Thorkel? Yes! Wait, no! I don't know! Was it Danes? <laughs> The psychopath is here! Dude, how do they travel so fast? It's actually insane. Oh my gosh, this is it. They're here. 
Don't kill the prince. And a kid with a knife. Because he wants to fight him. He wants to fight Thorfinn. Oh my god. This is panic. Thorkel, Thorkel. Oh. Ooh. Was Bjorn looking at Asgard like that? He has. Oh my gosh, man. He's trying to like reset Canute. Deserters? Because of Thor? Have they heard about Thorkel? Oh! <gasps> 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 Oh my god. It's like a mutiny. Asgard's gonna do what Asgard always does. He just moves no matter what happened or what he could happen. It's what he's always done. Dude, like I said, he's a, a piece of trash, but you have to respect the determination in his actions. Walk while you eat and walk while you sleep. That is insane. Walk or die. Thorkel is just a machine, bro. He just doesn't stop. He's locked in. These are the guys that stay behind? We want to join you. He does not give a damn. He doesn't even know. I didn't think he knew his name. <laughs> yeah, but Askeladd isn't. Is the thing. <laughs> Onwards. Dude, I thought this was it. I thought they were about, was about to actually catch up and then be a whole like battle between them. It would have been nuts. Oh, bridge. Wait, could they destroy it? Burst seven, remember? Uh, I did not read that in time. 10 14. Man, I gotta see some of the manga panels for this. It has to be so pretty. I mean, it won't stop him. It'll slow him down a decent bit. A decent bit. Oh no, the priest is out of booze. Oh my gosh, look at him, bro. Even if Thorkel does catch them, they're all done. Oh, how's Canute doing? Oh, hang in there, champ. Dark Ark, Canute is coming. I can feel it. I mean, I honestly think Asquad's right. I think Canute will just be really cold now. They just will change him. Maybe not instantly, but over time. Kind of like Thorfinn, low-key, actually. Honestly, yeah, actually. I see a parallel here now. And it was Asquad that did it both times. Asquad killed Thors and now Ragnar. Well, he didn't kill Ragnar, but made the order to. I guess he didn't kill Thors either. My gosh! <laughs> What is he doing? What's the plan here? Is he gonna like dip? Wait, they're splitting off. <gasps> Even them! Oh my gosh! More than half! It is a mutiny! Oh dude, I thought they were insanely loyal. I didn't I mean at least these two. I didn't think it'd ever come to this. Dang, and the fact that Asquad has like an idea about it. Oh, he hasn't lost yet, but the, the probability is very high. Down goes the bridge. But Bjorn knows. Of course Bjorn knows. He's literally his right-hand man. At what point? Mm, at what point does either like either party enact? Oh my god, there's so much tension in freaking Vinland's log. It's insane. Like here, here? <gasps> right over the hill. What are, what are those? What? They don't got bear 50 cows out here. What are those? Oh, spears. Okay, no, that makes way more sense. Boy, Trudgeon just through the snow. Led by the beast himself. He's gonna chuck it. No! Bro! A kebab! He kebab three from the mountain! Four! Dude, Thorkel is him. Thorkel is him. Forget about that. No, this is where they. This is. No, this is it. This is it. He's going mask off just like this. The question is how many exactly agree with him? Bear one more day. He's saying bear one more day because that's enough time for him to dip, I think. He know, look at their faces, bro. He knows they're done. Asquad has to play very carefully here. Oh. Oh, he's rolling the dice right now. <gasps> he lost. He lost the gamble. What now? There's no way he's drinking. The spear's gonna come in hot. Are they marching? Oh no, that's that's still Dorkelsman. Him and his two axes. Dude, 
Dude, Venlon Saga is insane. Oh my gosh. It's like, it's it's turned into just like a giant chess match, man. And now, as I think this is the most pinned ass squad. This is the most pinned ass squad's ever been because through everything, through like every situation we've seen in the entirety of Venlon Saga so far, he's always had his men. And I've always pictured Askeladd's men as being the type to lay down and die for Askeladd. Honestly, like the number of years they've been together, all the, the places they've been, the number of battles that have taken place. I genuinely thought that they, they trusted in him with literally everything they had. So I think that goes to show how far Thorkel has pushed them, how, how broken mentally and physically they are. I mean, aside from the fact that they've just been marching for days, weeks, months, maybe at this point on end, I think it's very telling how, how much his entire party has crumbled at this point. So now do they just take Asgard and Canute and give him over to Thorkel like they said? Asgard's not going to just roll over and let it happen. Is he just going to fight literally all of his men? Like, there's only a very finite number of options here. It's not like Asgard can just be like, all right, guys, deuces, and then just, like, run away with Canute. Especially because Canute's still broken, too. Like, that adds an entire factor in. Like, at this point, Canute's probably like, I just don't care. I, I want to die, too. Like, what would Ragnar think, man? I don't know, and I brought it up again today. I, I said it a couple episodes ago, and I was kind of being dramatic then, but at this point, Orphan really hasn't had much of a part in anything. I think he's just mostly been sort of watching, learning, listening, seeing how things develop. Where's Thorfinn in this mutiny? Does he care more about, uh, you know, killing Askeladd, just staying with him and having an actual duel? Or will he jump in? I don't I don't see him jumping in on the side turning against him. I really don't. I see Thorfinn as viewing at that as beneath him, honestly. But guys, that's been it for History of Beasts. I hope you enjoyed. Drop a like on this one. I'll see you next time. Peace, peace.